you've got your lab work back, your serum potassium is high, and you take an ARB. What do you do? Just had the same client situation happen, and if you are an enhanced bodybuilder, or female for that matter, or even non-enhanced, because there's other individuals that are taking an angiotensin receptor blocker and getting on the safer use bandwagon, right? Because it has a lot of benefits and see my other video if you want to know what those benefits are. But there can be occurrence with taking the ARB for high serum potassium, also known as hyperkalemia. And what should you do about it? Well, for one, why is it even an issue? Because it can cause neuromuscular weakness, can cause heart arrhythmias, and in really severe cases where potassium has very high, it can even cause death. So it is a serious thing to address. It's a rare occurrence though. Uh, in some of the literature we can look at, usually with ARB usage, a serum potassium over five milliequivalent per liter, usually is like 20 to 30% of individuals. Now going beyond that, going above six, that's when it gets even lower incidence of occurrence. It's usually like two to 3% of individuals. So what's normal? Well, depending on the reference range you look at, it's usually less than 5.2. 3.5 to 5.2 milli equivalent per liter, not hyperkalemia until you're above 5.5. Getting above six though is when it is getting towards you really need to do something immediately about. Um, now being around 5.5, it's something that could be fairly asymptomatic, so you probably won't notice that you do have it. However, it is something you do want to address. Now, how you deploy an ARB and telmasartan is also something to be mindful of in starting at the lowest effective doses needed assess your tolerance and then moving up from there. So anyway, how does this stuff work? Well, you take an ARB, it blocks the angiotensin receptor, which lowers aldosterone. Aldosterone is responsible for sodium ex, um, retention and potassium excretion. So if you're blocking that, you're going to now be retaining more potassium and having sodium loss. It's why you can have less water retention taking it. So in some individuals, this might be a problematic and more so in those that are diabetics, have kidney issues and older. So in young, healthy individuals, it's gonna be even a less occurrence than the numbers I just listed earlier, because a lot of that data is coming from disease states individuals, which are gonna have more incidences of that occurring. So it is pretty rare, but it, it, it can happen. And especially when we have bodybuilders that consume really high potassium diets, and so that is the first intervention you do. So if you have someone that's doing an, an ARB and they're getting close to that 5.5, let's first do dietary strategies to try to lower serum potassium, then retest in two weeks. And bodybuilding foods can easily get high in potassium because we can eat a lot of potatoes, beef, uh, spinach, broccoli, um, if you do fruits, like mango can be really high in, in potassium. Even chicken will add up too. So just a high protein diet in general that will add in potassium. Um, avocados can be high as well. So go through your food list, look high food, high potassium foods, see what that client might be consuming a lot of, adjust those down. That might be enough after two weeks to retest and not have to adjust your telmosardin dosage. Now, if you had did those, those aspects, it's still up there or getting higher, then we just, half the dosage of telmosartan down to the, the next effective dosage for that client. If they're still 5.5 or above from that point and you've already done all those action points, it is a time to remove the ARB and find another alternative that you can review with your medical provider and see what would be the, the right application for you. And uh, you know, with, within doing so, usually those steps are enough. Um, again, like I said, it is a rare occurrence. I do see it in some individuals that are getting really high food intakes. Uh, the client that came in mind is you know, over close, right at 5,000 calories. And so the volumes of these foods is so much, it's hard to even lower the potassium content, even with switching to different food sources. Um, but just with, with doing so, and also we just cut the, the telmosartan dose in half, that was plenty just to keep potassium right around that 5.2 level. So let me know if you have any other follow-up questions on Telmosartan Serum Labs. If you want to learn more on this stuff and how to take care of yourself, being an enhanced bodybuilder, check out j3university.com.